the E-Seed. Created by a team at Carnegie Mellon University, led by Professor Lining Yao who got her inspiration from the Erodium Seed. The Erodium Seed has evolved over time and developed a unique way of securing its own survival. It does this by drilling itself into the ground using a process called hygroscopy. A substance that is hygroscopic has the ability to absorb moisture from the atmosphere. In this case, the awn, the long part of the seed, coils up when dry and then uncoils when wet. This causes the seed to twist and rotate which is how it drills itself into the ground. Professor Lining Yao and her team have been able to mimic this process with their E-seed, which is made from a biodegradable white oak veneer. The E-seed comes in various sizes and can carry a variety of payloads ranging from seeds as large as white bark pine trees, which can be up to 11 mm long and weigh as much as 72 mg, as well as organic fertilizers and even electronic sensors which could have agricultural and conservation applications. Going one step further than nature's erodium seed, Professor Yao and her team discovered that there was room for improvement on this already remarkable design. Instead of just one coiled tail, they implemented three coiled tails. This simple add-on allowed for much higher germination rates, especially on flat grounds thanks to its resting angle of about 25 to 30 degrees. When compared to the erodium seed, under the same terrain conditions, the E-seed had an 80% successful drilling rate whereas the erodium seed had a 0% success rate. So what are the potential applications of this device? The team believe that the technology may Improve the effectiveness of aerial seeding to address agricultural and environmental stresses in degraded areas. Such examples of this could be areas that are prone to landslides that are in hard-to-reach places where extra vegetation could shore up the ground, as well as fire-damaged areas where recovery could be sped up dramatically. Another practical use could be for reforestation. Delivering seeds by drones is not new, but it can be inefficient, because seeds simply dropped on the ground can easily fail to germinate for various factors such as being eaten by wildlife. The e-seed can also be a display. It can be coated in reflective or fluorescent paint which allows for easy monitoring of germination rates. Seeds that have failed to germinate can easily be spotted and even recycled. The sensors can range from moisture sensors to monitor soil conditions to RFID tags and proximity sensors, which can allow for the tracking of objects or wildlife. This could be handy for pest or rodent deterrent in agricultural environments or even gardens. Another interesting possibility of the E-Seed is future terraforming on Mars. One day, swarms of autonomous drones could be flying around Mars dropping millions of these self-drilling seed carriers, paving the way for future colonization. What do you guys think of the E-Seed and its potential applications? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. See you in the next video.